Hey guys, welcome back to Fear and Wine. We're here, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll never do it. We're here with Resident Evil Revelations 2. Let's play, this is part 12. Resident Evil. I'll never nail the intro of this game. It's, I don't know why I get tongue twister on Fear and Wine Resident Evil Revelations 2. I just, my brain sometimes nails it, sometimes doesn't. But anyway, when we last left off, um, we were, <clears throat> is Barry and Natalia, we just got out of the sewers, now we're in the old mine, and we're trying to power it back up with the magic of conveyor belts, and we're, we're trying to track down Alex Wesker, we're gonna kill the shit out of her, because Myra, Moira, allegedly, is dead, which would probably also mean that Claire is, which we both all know that's not true, so I wouldn't hold your breath too much that she's dead, and I, that's not a spoiler, because, you know, just use your brain. But yeah, like I said, we're on... Previously god. on Revelations 2. Oh my god, this same one. Alright guys, enjoy this for the 18th Did time. Claire, get up to the roof! See? We're like sisters. Claire, we lost the girl. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. Barry, there's something right there. I've been waiting for you. Wait. Well, that's one hell of a parking job. Me and my I got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Two Westers. Natalia. Okay. Um. Fuck, what was I going to say? Yeah, so we're on part 12. I, I feel like we're down to the wire of the last... This is a this is it, you know? I mean, granted, it's weird that it's only three episodes. But granted, though, episodes are long. I mean, this is... Well, yeah, 12. This is six hours right here. I mean, the first game was... I think was like... Let's see. What did we end on for that one? Excuse me. 14. We made 14 parts for uh, Resident Evil Revelations, which doesn't mean that this one won't be longer, obviously. I'm just saying that, you know. Uh, did it drop it off up here? Or did we not? No, that's all right. So yeah, when we last left off, we had put it on the conveyor belt, and so we'd have taken it over here, dropped it right there, and then dropped it over here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> it was just moving kind of slow. All right, so now we take it from here, put it on this one. It's gonna take it up there. And this will be our ticket out of here. Okay. Come on, Natalia. Let's roll. Let's not stand underneath it so we don't die. And... Wabang. So now we drop it from up here, which, good luck on it working anymore. <laughs> so, oh fuck, we broke the battery. And I drew, leave it, I pulled it out from under her so she has to take the full fall. Because I'm an asshole. Alright, there we go. Elevator's here. I knew it. What am I doing? Ah. Thank you. Fuck out of my way. Let's go. Let's go reload this. Alright. Oh, come on. Not now. Damn it. Uh, Alright. Oh. Oh, okay, we're going this way. 
Man, all that work just for the fucking elevator to go up eight feet. All right. Oh. Ah, oh, sorry. All right. Let's see what this. Oh shit. That was a waste. I feel like if it was, if, even if the explosion doesn't. Oh shit, oh my god, what am I doing? Even the explosion doesn't kill them, per se. It should at least blow off all the fucking skin so you can see where that piece is, you know? I feel like that would have been the most logical thing to happen. Alright, February 10th, 2010. Or February 8th, 2010. We've had a lot of bodies to take care of today, more than usual. The T these T Phobos trials sure can burn through the available subjects. We used up 30 bodies in just three days. The only thing to do is keep bagging and dumping them in the pit. I'm sure we'll come across that pit, and it'll be hell on earth. Sweep this. Uh, maybe that. Maybe the battery died from us dragging it and dropping it everywhere. Oh shit! All right, I'll go again, bro. Come on. Fuck. Clear out. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I had to reload? <laughs> that was stupid. Alright, there we go. Looks like that was a good shot. Gotcha. Come on. Wanna swing it? Ah! Come on. Yeah! Bitch. All right. All right, there we go. There's the next place to put the battery. Keep at it. We'll have that old bitch cornered soon. Sorry. <laughs> All right, cutscene maybe. End of episode three maybe. Oh shit. My god. 
Oh my god. You look like a piece of sh But why aren't you changing? A failure like you. So that's what this all like a fucking superhuman. She's like, you wanted me to change, huh? <laughs> oh, alright. <laughs> Next time on Revelation. There we go. My whole life has been a prelude to this. My true birth. Wherever she went, we could still catch her. Nice fucking emergency exit! Down below. I think that's where we'll find her. Time to be the cause of our misery. You will die, child. Run, 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 run! All that remains is one final test. Okay, so it looks like this is the this is gonna be the end of it. Final episode, Metamorphosis. Sweet. Granted, uh, I think chapter three, episode three, took like fucking nine episodes or nine parts to do. So shit, we might be going to twenty-five parts. I don't know. All right, next skill settings. Is there anything about health? Brick finisher. Last stand increased firepower one time. Yeah, let's just do that one. <laughs> um There we go. Since we mainly use guns anyway. And now it's going to do a pre you know at least the previously on will be different on so let's do it two. someone left a message welcome to the killing where all things ah! come to pass i not know this thing you are speaking i'm just learning to see a little more clearly i did what i thought was right ah! we'll know each other inside and out yeah you killed her The old sack is gonna pay for what you do. I'll crush you with my bare hands. So now I realize that that old man who goes, I don't know this thing you speak of, was the father of the, the notes that we found. He was the one who died in his bed all alone. Episode 4, Metamorphosis. Our deliverance is death, but not this one. Franz Kofka. You know, I'm curious. Franz Kafka's real novelist, 20th century literature, died in 1924. Oh. You're perfect. <coughs> you're not, though. Six months from now, you're going to awaken as me. Hmm. 
and the world is going to be very afraid. And as we can see, that did not happen. Surprised we haven't. Night, my darling. Surprised we haven't seen like this uh, super high tech fucking All laboratory this yet. this time wasted. My whole life has been a prelude to this, my true birth. Oh shit! We just missed her. Time to meet the cause of our misery. What is this place? Doesn't matter. Let's find the overseer. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this bitch. I just did a thing. That sluice changed the direction of the water. Yeah, but where? Look at the video feeds. We've been through most of these areas. And she's been watching our every step. Huh. This is where she's been talking to us. I was over here saying, I wonder why we haven't explored this laboratory, and now we are. Yeah, as you know, the laboratory is always the end of the game. Uh, the transfer will take place soon and my success is high. Spencer, you poor pathetic old man. You spent your final years desperately searching for the secret to immortality. And you died while research was still incomplete. But I have been continuing that research. The body will age. This is an inescapable fact. But we can escape our death by transferring our minds into another vessel. All of my efforts have been invested in developing and refining the system. I've had a few successes, but I still have so much more to do before I can consider my work to be complete. As of now, I confirm the following. The new vessel must be mentally strong and able to overcome any emotions of fear. After the transfer, it will take six months before its transferred mind can be stabilized. During this time, the vessel should be protected at all costs. Time is of the essence. I must work quickly. What do you make of it? I don't know. I just can't figure the Overseer out. Stuart, it looks like the most suitable vessel is going to be that little girl after all. The other candidates had potential, but the girl is an entirely different class. She is incapable of feeling fear. That's not surprising when you consider she, what she's been through. Getting caught up in the Tangeria panic as of such a young age, having everyone she knew be killed, losing her parents right in front of her eyes. After experiencing those kinds of horrors, what's left is, what is, what's left, what left is there to be afraid of? The only problem is her age, but that's a problem that time will take care of for us. She's a perfect candidate for our, our, your purposes. All right. My God, a lot of reading. I have to love. I have a love-hate relationship with the story. Perhaps I could. Oh, okay. I don't care about that. It's the book of. Co well, actually, no. That's gonna. The reason why they've been quoting it. Uh, perhaps I can relate to it more if I, closely than I'd like to admit. One more. Gregor awakens to find himself transformed into a hideous insect-like creature. His family is bewildered at first, but they do not take care of him. Eventually, he becomes too much of a burden to them. Nothing more than an ugly monster, a nuisance to the family. When Gregor learns that this, he retreats to a solitary death. Up until his transformation, Gregor has been supporting the family. Now that he was no longer useful, he was a burden to them. They were relieved when he died. I, too, have been bred to serve a purpose. Once that purpose is accomplished, I, too, shall be cast aside. But I refuse to shrivel up and die in solitude. I refuse to let myself become a hideous monster. You must have felt the same way, too, Albert. He's calling by first name. Maybe it's not as a... Uh daughter i guess it seems more likely a daughter i guess it could be a sister honestly how are we gonna get through there's got to be some way to reach the other side okay well we gotta lower these little walkways let's see how we're gonna do that maybe it's something with her maybe she needs to you know Let's see. Is there anything else? Um. Shit. Let's see what, what did that water do?
Man, this is like a shitty little lab. I mean, you can't even fucking figure out. Well, here, how about this? We're going to push those water, uh, shift the water again. Come out here and see if those bridges drop because it looks like it's right above us. Sure didn't. Okay, well then we're gonna just go ahead and shift them back again. Because <laughs> maybe they're supposed to, it's supposed to be that way. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully we can figure something out with this bullshit. So let's go. Oh, well, let's. let's uh, not a goddamn thing. Oh, sapphire. Cool. Just hug all the walls. Hey. Hey yo. Oh hey, there's some behind it. There's something on the other side of the aquarium, but I can't make it out. There we go. Push a little bit more. There we go. Alright, we're through. Let's Fuck hide. yeah. Okay. An elevator. Oh shit. We need it last. Damn it. Came all this way just to say goodbye. Oh, I'm touched. Oh shit, I'm sorry. It's already done. I've conquered fear and earned the right to become a god. Come out from behind that glass so I can choke a god. All that remains is one final test. One last threshold. Is she even listening to us? I mean, obviously not. This bitch is My too high on her own fumes. Was death. Okay, it was her brother. And soon, it will be mine as well. I will share in his fate. And then, I will surpass him. What are you trying to do? She's gonna shoot herself. Escape. Jesus. Just like that. Well, roll credits. Oh, shit. Warning. Confidentiality protocols initiated. Self destruct sequence of the facility is under fire. <laughs> Area, please remain calm. We need to get out of here and let off back to the elevator. Hurry! I am not sharing a coffee with that nut job. All right, let's go. I yeah, passed the door. Yeah, the elevator's gonna look real. Oh. Holy fuck! There's a passage down below. Find another route. There we go. Um, 
Oh, I didn't even know she had a stamina bar. I've never had to sprint that long, so... Holding it up with a couple of chips. Use your help. Open this while we have time. <coughs> ah, come on. <coughs> there we go. Magnum ammo case, cool. Got it. All right. Just keep your eyes peeled and go. Okay. I'm just like shooting at her. <laughs> She's like, Claire, what are you fucking doing? I'm trying to kill an invisible monster. Oh! We were supposed to drop down that if we wanted to get that chest, but oh well. It is what it is. Oh my god. Five minutes and 17 seconds, no, not bad. she hold on to <laughs> she just like gripped the air Cool. Damn it. 
Damn it! We need to find a way across! There's gotta be a way to loosen those. Um... Is there like a chain holding him? Shit. What the fuck? What's holding them? Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we were shooting the fucking things. Wasting goddamn time. Alright. Out of the way for you. Oh, shit, no, she's got to do it. All right, let's go. Anything in here? No. Thank God it's making a path for me. I got a minute and 23 seconds. I hope I didn't burn up too much time. Just fucking happen. Mara! No, don't you fucking dare, Mara! Oh God! I'm getting you out of there. Go, clear, save your son. No, no worries, Vince. God, help me. Whoa. I cannot believe Moira fucking died. That was totally wrong. Oh, shit. She gonna become a fucking monster? Wow. Wow, that's crazy. 
That was a twist I wasn't expecting coming. So, kudos, game. Kudos. Not everyone can see the truth, but anyone can be the truth. All right. Claire, open your eyes. Claire, wake up. Claire. Barry. What happened to Moira? Was Moira with you? Wait, so... Barry. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. She's... I tried to save her. I should have... Well, now I'm confused. So he came to the island. I mean, that has to be. So I'm so confused now. So is that current? No, it can't be current. Maybe it is current. But. Moira. I don't understand. So he comes to the island. He finds out that it was six months prior. Natalia. But if he saw Claire, then he already knew it was six months prior. If he's shocked that she's dead by the revelation that she's dead, okay. but he already knew that she was dead because of Claire, this doesn't make any fucking Natalia, sense. Sweetie, where's Wesker? She went somewhere else. Oh, okay. Well, what matters is that you're safe. Wherever she went, we could still catch her. Alright, well that's the end of part twelve. <sighs> I, just I don't understand. Out, I, I am so fucking you know confused. Went. I think she's on the other side of the map. I feel like that was just like the biggest right. like writing narrating like narrative error I've ever seen. Or unless that was just a dream you had and that wasn't real. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. But anyway, I'll be back with part thirteen soon. Hope you enjoy this. Till next time, peace.